All right, guys, welcome back here. Uh, we finally got a new video camera. Uh, I'm not quite used to this yet, but doing some fur handling in the garage, and I kind of want to show you guys the difference uh, between some coon. You know, realistically, the ones here that I'm looking at now, you don't want to harvest these during season. Uh, this is actually a sow that had a late litter. Um, it's really, it's difficult to show on camera. But there's just no density here at all. I mean, the fur is just, there, there's guard hairs, but there's nothing beyond that. Uh, here on the, the left side, this is a good, might even be a heavy coon, but uh, as you can see, you know, it's just, it's full. It's really full. You can take your hands, go through it, and it's really full. Uh, this one on the other side, you know, there's just, there's nothing to it. So if I back up, you know, it, it's kind of hard to see, you know, if this is a live animal. Uh, if we switch it over to the belly side, you know, you can see the belly's gone. You know, you can see the nipples where she's been nursing late in the year. This one is really full. He's got a really nice belly, uh, really dense. But, you know, most of the time, if you're, if you're harvesting animal, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see the back side of them. Uh, you know, it, it, it's really difficult to show, but there's just, there's no density here at all. It's just, you see guard hairs, and that's about it, versus you go over here to this one. I mean, you can just see, see the underwool. You can feel the heaviness of them. Uh, I would encourage everybody, you know, come in this season, you know, let, I don't want to say let them walk, because a lot of people harvest coon, you know, because they're a predator, they're a nest robber, things like that. But the one on the right here will have no value. And personally for me, I don't harvest an animal unless I plan to use it or it has value to me in some way. Whether that's raccoons for fur and glands and skulls and bones and stuff, or for deer, for meat and other reasons. But you know, that realistically this coon on the right has absolutely no value. The one on the left, that's what we're targeting. You know, these are both 3X Coon, but this one here on the right is going to be a dollar. This one on the left, you know, even in down market right now, this is probably, uh, once I get it finished, 12 to 15 bucks. So, huge difference here. Uh, obviously, you know, it's hard to tell when they're, you know, when it's a live animal in a trap. And that's why I harvested it. You know, we get going and you just, sometimes you got to slow down and really think about what you're doing, but... Anyway, guys, I just wanted to kind of kind of slow down and show you that. Really, really look at this when you're harvesting an animal. What, what's its fur look like? Is, is it value there? Uh, you know, always look for holes or is there rubs? A lot of times up here in the neck, there's going to be some rubs. You know, we got some blood we got to clean out yet, but there will be some rubs, especially later in the year. Uh, these don't have any rubs, you know, because they were early season, but, you know, definitely focus on this, so... Uh, side note here, we got the new camera this weekend. We're going after beaver. Uh, I'm ready to hit it. You know, we got, we got, a uh, oh, I don't know. I'm hopefully, hopefully get out about 50 traps or so. Uh, we got 35 beaver so far when the camera broke. I think we're at 20 something. I'm not even sure, but we're ready to go for broke now. Uh, only a couple weeks left of season and I'm going to be doing some filming down a, uh, crick system. I'll be going out with No Name Trapper, a buddy of mine. I'm going to meet up with him, and we're going to float down a river in some kayaks and try to catch some beavers. So should be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Thanks, guys.